to Porky if... if we lose. I thought you said you were gonna win. No, we are. I, I was just wondering, that's all. How would he take it? Would he take it hard? I don't believe my ears. Is Lester Fitchman actually beginning to care about someone else? No way. I was just wondering what would happen. That's all. Well, I think he could take losing. But if he found out that all those kids are putting him on, that would really hurt him. Okay, Corky, here it comes. <laughs> you like it? Like it. Tyler. Um, my parents aren't going to be home later, so do you want to come over? I don't think so. Why not? I don't like what you're doing to Corky. It's not funny. What am I doing to Corky? You know what you're doing. You're putting on a guy that's completely defenseless. <sighs> I'm not putting him on. Brian and the others may be, but I, I like Corky. Yeah, sure you do. Tyler! Want me to come over later? Or do you and Tyler want to be alone for a while? Forget it. Tyler's not coming over. Why not? <laughs> He's mad at me. He thinks that I'm not nice to the cork head. <laughs> I don't get it. What is with him? What does he see in that space cadet? <laughs> Beats me. But one thing's clear. If you want to keep Tyler, you better start being nice to Corky. Well, what am I supposed to do? Pretend he's normal? Invite him to parties. Tyler might like that. You know, you're right. Come on, Tip. I hope he's still out there. Was he always like that? So trusting? Always. He's interesting, your brother. It's like he's got this missing piece. But on the other hand, he has something. Something real that we don't seem to have. Do you believe in God? What? Do you believe in God? What's that got to do with anything? Just answer me. Yeah. I believe there's a God or something. See, I, I'm not sure about it myself, but if there is a God, why would he put Corky down here in this nest of vipers? Tyler's coming to my house after school. Do you want to come, too? Yeah. So it's a date? I have to study uh, my speech with Lester. Can he come, too? <laughs> no way. He's a geek. But he's my friend. Well, so am I. And so is Tyler. I mean, you, you can have different friends for different things. Be there, Corky. Don't worry, kiddo. I got it. I got it. You know, it's just uh, one first-class commode. There's nothing too good for the Thatcher girls. It's lovely. You know, all uh, toilet bowls aren't the same. You know, uh, you got your imported plastic bowls, real garbage. They break in no time. This baby was made in the USA. <laughs> oh. Real porcelain, 100 percent. I'm impressed. You know, it's just the right height, too. Sitting on this is like sitting on a throne. <laughs> I'm looking forward to spending many happy hours on it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, OK, so you're not interested in plumbing. So what are you interested in? Figure it out yet? Nothing definite, but I have a very strong feeling that I want to serve in some way. Yeah, well, you know what they say, charity begins at home. What are you trying to say to me? When are you and Libby going to make up? I mean, the vibes between the two of you give me heartburn. I'm sorry, Dad. It's just that ever since I've been back, she's been really distant with me. She's been distant with you? Yes. Well, that's strange. Libby thinks you've been distant with her. It's because she has been distant with me. Paige, I love you forever. But this is total nonsense. Talk to Libby. Clear the air. Believe me, we'll all feel better for it. Okay, I'll try. 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 <laughs> good. <laughs> well, let's get this baby installed. We'll get it cleaned up. It'll be just as good as new. It's not new? Uh, no, I pulled it out of Guido's Bar and Grill. Oh, oh, not the seat! Not the seat, for crying out loud. You think I'd let my girl sit on a used seat? Oh, God. Paige? I need to talk. Sure. So you want to go over to Rona's? 
But you don't want to hurt Lester's feelings. Well, why does he have to know about it? Because he... Because he's my friend. Well, you don't know everything he does. He doesn't have to know everything you do. That's not what friendships are about. But he's coming over, working on my speech. Call him. Tell him you're going shopping with me. And I'll drive you over to Rona's, and you can come over later. And what he doesn't know can't possibly hurt him. Hello? Hi, Cork. It's Tyler. Hey, Tyler. What's up? I got a question for you, Cork. Did Rona invite you to her house this afternoon? Yeah. Are you going over there? I was, but... No buts. Meet us there. We'll bring sodas, popcorn, music. It's going to be a party. It is? Yeah, we're leaving now. Meet us there in 15 minutes. Okay. Bye. How's it going, Chief? Ready to work? Lester, I can't. My sister and I are both going out. Out? Out where? Uh, shopping. The big assembly's in two days, and you're going shopping? Where's your priorities, man? Lester, I can't lie. Rona invited me to go over her house. You're kidding. Rona invited you? I tell her to, and she knocks me. Right. She likes you. I assume I'm not invited? Lester, I'm not gonna go. Why not? You should go. You finally made it. You're a big man now. You don't need me anymore. But, Lester... Go. Have a great time with Rona. And as a matter of fact, maybe she can become your new campaign manager. Because I quit. Lester, please wait. Don't go. I knew it. I knew it. I told him to stay away from Rona. Becca. Do you want anything to eat, Corky? I'm so sorry, Corky. I told you the wrong thing. Is that your fault, Paige? It's my fault. Did you try and call him and apologize? Lester hung up on him. Do you know where he lives? Would you like me to drive you over there later? Mom, I want to go now. What are you doing here? Please listen. I'm so sorry. I made a terrible mistake. No. I made the terrible mistake. I promised myself I would never get hurt again. I conned myself. I said, you can trust Corky. Oh, he's innocent, he's sweet, and besides, he's a retard. How can you get hurt by a retard? Well, you may have Down syndrome, but I'm the dummy. But it will never happen again. And I'll tell you something else. The kids don't really like you. They're laughing at you. It's all a joke. Now get out of my room, get out of my house, and out of my life. How's he doing? He's just sitting in his bed. Says he's got a stomachache. Doesn't want to go to school. But today's election day, isn't it? He's scared to make the speech without Lester. And now he thinks all the kids are making fun of him. Do you think we